How much do you need to retire early? As you go through life, chances are your goals will change and you evolve both personally and financially. However, no matter the stage of life you find yourself in, one thing will always remain the same. You will need to generate enough income to cover your needs and to possibly retire. According to Google, being retired means to be withdrawn from your current occupation, position or from active working life altogether. Financial independence, on the other hand, is defined as having enough income to pay your living expenses for the rest of your life without having to work full time. Both retirement and financial independence are often used interchangeably and indicates that a person has reached a certain level of financial power. For the working class, retirement or financial freedom is typically reached after having worked for an employer for quite a while and having earned enough to live on a pension for 1k and social security benefits. For business owners, retirement or financial freedom is rich when you have enough sources of income that will cover your expenses for the rest of your life without you needing to ever work. It's important to have good comprehension of all the sources of, in of income you might draw from after you retire. Furthermore, how much you need to save for, for retirement is unique to your way of living and the lifestyle you wish to live once you've retired. Moreover, what may, be right, what may be right for you will depend on your retirement expenses and the income you expect to help cover them. Giving an idea or an approximation of the dollar amount you may need after retirement will give you a rough idea for planning. However, you can't be focused solely on that because everyone's life is quite different. Therefore, what they want to do in their retirement years will be very different as well. Just how big your nest egg should be and how long it might last will depend not only on what you save and invest, but also on how you spend it once you do retire. Moreover, it will be best if you instead depend on a ballpark annual estimate based on what you live on now and what might change when you retire rather than, rather than relying on a general figure. Many experts suggest that your retirement income ought to be about 80% of your final pre-retirement salary. For example, if you make $150,000 per year at retirement, you need to have at least $120,000 annually to have a comfortable lifestyle after leaving the workforce. When it comes to retirement, according to your age group, the following criteria have been recommended. To retire at age 65 and live on investment income of $100,000 per year, you will need to have $2.5 million invested on the day you leave work. If you reduced your annual, in your annual spending target to $65,000, you will need a starting balance of $1.6 million in taxable investment account. To retire at age 55, financial analysts advise that you may need 10 to 12 times your current annual salary saved by the time you retire. This means that if you currently make $55,000 per year, you will need to have at least $550,000 or 600, from $550,000 to $660,000 saved for retirement. Excuse me. In order to retire at age 40, a person who currently makes $75,000 per year should have saved $165,000 per uh, pre-retirement. 
Furthermore, someone earning $200,000 per year should consider having saved $740,000 in a highly savings account or investment account before retirement. Assuming that you will have a higher percentage of social security money as part of your annual retirement income. If you wish to retire at the age of 30 years old and are currently earning $50,000 a year, you must have saved $20,000. The earlier you start investing, the more you can benefit from compounding, thus allowing you to have more at retirement. That's why you need to get going as soon as possible. See, if you start early, the effects of compounding can be huge. For example, if you were to set aside $1,000 every year or about $19 a week when you are 25 in a retirement account earning 7% uh, interest a year, even if you stop investing completely when you turn 35, that is, you've invested for only 10 years, your total investment will have grown to nearly $130,000 by the time you turn 65 and are ready to retire. Furthermore, to speed things up, you might want to consider implementing the FIRE tactic, which is a financial movement defined by frugality, extreme savings and investment. By saving up to 70% of annual income, FIRE proponents aim to retire early and leave off small withdrawals from accumulated funds. How do people do it, you may be wondering? To be able to accumulate that much money toward investing, people who follow the FIRE movement are always looking to do two things, keep their expenses extremely low and raise their income greatly. The general idea is that the higher your income is, the lower your expenses are, the faster you can reach financial independence. For those who subscribe to the FIRE movement, financial independence doesn't just mean sitting on some tropical beach or playing golf all the time. It means reaching the point where you don't have to work a full-time job if you don't want to. You can scale back to a part-time job or simply stop working altogether. In conclusion, as you go through life, chances are your goals will change and you evolve both personally and financially. It's important to have good comprehension of all the sources of income you might draw from after you retire. Furthermore, how much you need to save for retirement is unique to your way of living and the lifestyle you wish to live once you've retired. Moreover, what may be right for you will depend on your retirement expenses and the income you expect to help cover them. The End Thank you.